good evening and welcome in the name of the Lord on this Christmas Eve. This time of wonder and joy, this time when we come to celebrate together the birth of the Christ child. Welcome to all who are joining us, whether or joining us on YouTube and to those who might be joining for the very first time, a very special welcome. We are honored and we are blessed that you are here. Before we begin the service, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is John Peter Smith, one of the ministers in association here at Morningside High Park, uh, covering Janet Ruchan, our minister who is on leave, and we continue to pray for her and her family. I would also note just a quick announcement about the offering this night. It is the custom of this church to take the Christmas Eve offering and to designate that to a special project. Tonight, it is being designated to the work of Arise Ministries. Arise Ministry is a ministry of the Presbyterian Church in Canada uh, through the Reverend Deb Stanbury, who works with sex trade workers, women, and youth. And you can donate to the work of Arise Ministry either through their website or through the regular sources through this congregation. Just please designate those funds. The, the uh, offering will, will just go as it has been for the last weeks, which is to say that, that we would simply ask and, and that you would continue to support the work of this church. We are grateful for your support and note that there are many different ways to support the church, whether that's through Tithely or whether that's e-transfer, dropping off your checks or through PAR. And also again to note that the books close on December the 31st. So if you wish to make a gift that is included in this year's, in this calendar year, then please do so by December the 31st. It is good to be here. It is good to, to worship our Lord together. Let us come together now as we light the Christ candle. And we will do this using the litany that is provided to us from Presbyterian World Service and Development. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy. For to you is born in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Jesus has arrived in grace and mystery, renewing faded hopes and announcing peace to a weary world. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom God favors. Jesus comes among us in power and glory inspiring joy and calling us to live lives that are full of God's love. Jesus, the light of the world, is born. Let Christ's light shine in the darkest corners of our lives. Let Christ's light shine in the darkest corners of our world. God is with us. Let us pray. God of grace and glory, as we celebrate this Christmas, transform our hearts and our lives so that your good news is not an old story, but a fresh truth lived out every day through the power of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Call his name Jesus. God sent the angel Gabriel to the Galilean village of Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to be married to a man descended from David. His name was Joseph, and the virgin's name Mary. Upon entering, Gabriel greeted her. Good morning. You are beautiful with God's beauty, beautiful inside and out. God be with you. She was thoroughly shaken, wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But the angel assured her, Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. He will be great, be called Son of the Highest. chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. Um, so Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the hostel. May God help her understand him. Jesus. 
There were shepherders camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angels stood among them and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A savior has just been born in David's town. A savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you're looking for. A baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a manger. At once, the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth who please him. was born in Bethlehem Village, Judah Territory. 
This was during Herod's kingship. A band of scholars arrived in Jerusalem from the east. They asked around, where can we find and pay homage to the newborn king of the Jews? We observed a star in the eastern sky that signaled his birth. We're on pilgrimage to worship him. They told him, Bethlehem, Judah territory. They set off. And then the star appeared again, the same star that they had seen in the eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. Amen. They entered the house and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. They opened their luggage and presented gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What shall we name the baby? You shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High. What's in a name? What shall we name the baby? We live in a world where depending on, on your culture, depending on your ancestry, depending on your circumstance, there's all different kinds of rules around names. Sometimes they're, they're hard and set. We'll name the child after a parent or a grandparent. We'll, we'll name, there'll be a family name or, or a community name. Sometimes a special meaning, a, a difficult pregnancy, so we name the child Grace or the child Joy. Sometimes it's just a name that's made up or, or a combination of, of other names. Sometimes somebody famous. Or increasingly, we hear there are names that aren't used because of somebody infamous. In our family, we have two traditions. The Smith family, the, the boys particularly, are named after their grandfathers. I'm named after mine from both sides. In the Bennett family, Tory's family, sons are named after their fathers. Thomas Alton, Thomas Allen, Thomas Alton, Thomas Allen, and if you were named Thomas Alton, you went by Thomas, and if you were named Thomas Allen, you went by Allen, and Jacob is Jacob Allen, kind of the combination of both. Miriam, daughter Miriam, continues with the Old Testament theme begun with Jacob. What's in a name? 
As we read the stories, even the stories of tonight's service, over and over again, we hear allusions to names. You shall call his name Jesus. Or what Mary would have really heard, you would have called his name Yeshua, Joshua. Joshua means to deliver because he would deliver people from their sins. Even in his name, there is clarity about his purpose. You'll remember that in the story of of Zechariah and Elizabeth, that that the angel comes to speak to to, uh, Zechariah in the Holy of Holies, and, and Zechariah questions the angel, questions partly how can this be? We're old, we can't have children. But also questions the name. His name will be John. John means God's gracious gift, or God has been gracious. Zechariah is struck dumb until John is born, and the time comes for him to be named, and he is named John. Jesus is described as being of the house and lineage of David. David means beloved. And and again, there is this notion that with Jesus comes this name, this name of David, this name from history, this name of wonder. But it's not just their names, John or Jesus or or Zechariah or Elizabeth, but, but in Jesus In Jesus' circumstance, a very particular naming that goes with the name from the prophet Isaiah. He will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Everlasting Father, Mighty God, Prince of Peace. Again, he is being named and and named here according to his purpose according to his calling. And perhaps the the most important one, other than his own name, other than the name Jesus, and maybe the one that is the most relevant for us this night, he will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. As we come to pay homage this night, as we come into the presence of our Savior, as we kneel at the manger, we come to see Jesus. We come to worship Jesus. But in a very, very profound sense, we come to acknowledge Emmanuel, God with us. God with us in the birth of a child, in, 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 in the word made flesh to dwell among us. God with us to walk with us and to eat with us and to teach us and to be with us. God with us to, to hang on the cross and to rise from the dead. God with us, Emmanuel in the presence of the Holy Spirit, a presence that continues today, not merely on this Christmas as we celebrate the physical presence, but the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our times of fear, in our times of uncertainty, in our times of anxiety, in our times of joy, in our times of celebration, in times with family, in times alone, and in times when we don't know what the future will bring, and in times when we are absolutely certain in the fullness and in the completeness and the wholeness of our lives, we celebrate Emmanuel. We celebrate Jesus. We celebrate God with us. What's in a name? Because the other part of that story is our name. Is John Peter? Is Mary Lou? 
is you and me, is Mark, is Alex, is Holly, is Janet, is Kim. Is the reality that, that the other part of that story of, of Emmanuel, which means God with us, is, is God with us in a way that God knows our name. It's, it's amazing how many times in the Gospels that, that without any apparent introduction, Jesus walks up to people and calls them by name. Zacchaeus, today I will eat with you. You are Peter, and on this rock, Jesus knows our name. Jesus calls us by name. Jesus comforts us by name. Jesus encourages us by name. For surely, if God with us, if Emmanuel means anything, it is not merely that, that we would go to God to worship, but that God should come to us in relationship, in love. So what's in a name? Well, when that name is Jesus, when that name is Emmanuel, it means everything. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us continue in our worship. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this Christmas tide, on this Christmas Eve, we come to you praising you, glorifying you, that you are Emmanuel, that you are God with us, that you are Jesus, the deliverer, the one who delivers us from our sins, but not just from our sins, but, but from fear and from anxiety and from care. And not just from those things, but who delivers us from the mundane the foolish and the meaningless into lives of meaning and of wonder and of joy. You are God with us, the child born in Bethlehem, the child to whom we come with the shepherds and the angels to, to pay you homage, to kneel in your presence. But you are no less God with us in the streets of Toronto as, as Deb works with sex trade workers, in the hospitals, in the nursing homes, in the shopping malls, in the stores. Lord, you are God with us in, in all of the circumstances in all of the areas of our lives. And we need but look up to see you there. Lord, on this Christmas, we, we pray in a very particular way for those who are separated one from another this season. We pray for, for a world who continues to suffer under the weight of COVID. We pray for those who are the most affected. We pray for those who have lost loved ones this year who have found it difficult to grieve. We rejoice in the birth of children and, and the achievement of milestones even when they can't be celebrated in all of the usual ways. And in the midst of a world that is just slightly out of sorts, we are reminded that the world that you came to was slightly out of sorts as well. And that in fact all of our lives, all of our world will be slightly out of sorts until you come again. But tonight we worship. Tonight we pray. Tonight we rejoice. Tonight we love the one who is called Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. On this Christmas Eve, we gather to celebrate the birth of our Savior. We go to tell all of these things 
which are just as the Lord has made known to us. We gather to rejoice with the angels and to sing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to all whom God favors. We gather to do all of these things. And as we do all of these things, may I, may we wish you God's richest, most wonderful and profound blessings. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, this night of mystery, love, and joy, and indeed forevermore. Amen. Prince of Wholeness, for a child has been born for us, the gift of a son for us. He'll take over the running of the world. His names will be Amazing Counselor, Strong God, Eternal Father, Prince of Wholeness. May God help our understanding. Song. 